At the start of the week, we saw some examples of how the recent floodings in China have impacted not only buildings, but cars parking themselves. If you missed that bizarre moment, stay until the end. Today, however, people are saying no to the flood and commuting to work no matter the method. With torrential downpour hitting parts of China and the streets succumbing to severe flooding, some have chosen to swim to work, whilst others rely on the kindness of Bob the Builder. In a clip posted by Pear Video on the 17th, a courteous bulldozer man in Hebei city of Xianyang was filmed coming to the rescue of those in dire need of getting to work. That or he was just trying to run everyone down. The dozer's operator can be seen carrying a scoop's worth of pedestrians, which is about 10 if you didn't know, through the streets as it plows through the water.今天确实确实太大了 Per the report, the makeshift ferry operated free of charge. Mm, but what about that woman swimming across a flooded street? Notice anything peculiar? The video from the Guizhou city of Ju Yi captured the moment a young woman and apparent devotee to her employee swam across the street to get to work, demonstrating some serious commitment. However, take a closer look and you'll see a kid just, well, walking, leading skeptical Chinese netizens to believe this was filmed as some kind of promotion. Just a really shit one. If you missed the bizarre moment a car actually parked itself inside a flooded basement, stay tuned. A few days ago, I showed you guys a video that exposed some truly shoddy workmanship in China. The builders were found to have packed the walls with litter. Today, however, the fault lies with nature. After some torrential flooding in parts of southern China earlier in the week, a three-storey building crashed spectacularly into a river in Guangxi. Footage of the crash was posted to Miaopai on the 10th of June, which shows the moment the building's foundations crumble apart, sending the building sliding down into the floodwaters, where it quickly becomes nothing more than a muddy brew with a few homely possessions bobbing about. Watch this. So the question on everyone's mind is, was anyone hurt? Fortunately, no. Signs of the collapse were actually discovered in advance, so the building was evacuated ahead of time with no casualties reported. 
Slightly insensitive, but on the topic of floods in China, these floodwaters in Guangzhou have parking capabilities better than most. Surveillance footage from a parking lot in a residential community captured a row of cars half submerged in water. As time passes, the water navigates one unmanned car directly into an empty space. And lastly, on the topic of water doing the work for you, here's the moment fishermen, again in Guangzhou, took full advantage of some more flooding. If you want more Tomo in your life, click the subscribe and bell button so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching Tomo News.